Welcome to Real Yaks Kayaks. In today's video, we're actually going to show you how to install a transducer. Now, in all of the Real Yaks Kayaks, they have a recess underneath where you can actually install that transducer and a transducer protection plate. We're going to dive in and show you how to install your transducer to get the best out of your Real Yaks Kayak. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the, uh, the the recess for the transducer that is underneath the kayak, and and each real X kayak has a, a recess transducer. It's um it's pretty simple. This is the cover plate that is really there to protect uh, the transducer when you're actually beaching the kayak, and uh, you know it's simply a, a Phillips screwdriver to be able to uh, to take this off. Pretty straightforward. So once you've got that off, you can take the cover plate off um, because you're going to access underneath to get to the transducer. So wh what you're going to see here is that you're going to have two screw holes here to that, that take the, the stock standard screws um, to um, mount your transducer. Your transducer should come with those screws, hopefully. Um, this mount is, is pretty universal for a lot of uh, transducers and so um, you shouldn't have too many issues there. And then, you know, you want to feed your, your cable through the, the scupper hole. Now, um, you know, the, the transducer that you use here could be, um, is most likely going to be a downward facing transducer. You can do a side to side, but you won't get the full benefit of 180 um, side to side view because it's, it's recessed down. Um, so it's still possible to do a side to side, but it's going to be sunk a bit and you're not going to get full benefit. If you're going to do side to side, probably worth using an arm that's attached to accessory rails that you can then drop down. Um, but if it's just downward facing, this is a, a, super, a great place to be able to, to put it and then just, you know, feeding your ca cable through. What you can do with the cable too is, um, is you can actually drill a hole through this, the scupper plug and feed that, that, that cable through and that just provides you that extra bit of, um, you know, water, stopping water lapping up. You might want to put a... Um, some sort of grommet on that as well just to stop the water coming through the scupper plug but um, you know that's an option as well okay so once you you've got your um, your transducer you, you want to shift it into into the right position um, so that it's kind of facing down as as much as possible in a in a in a perpendicular direction um, to, to capture up the the best um, the, the best field as as possible and then you want to you know um, maybe insert your um your two screws that you're going to um uh, put into um uh, put into the notches that are there already um center it down and and obviously um uh, get those in so what you should end up with now is is your transducer mounted you can see obviously the two screws in there that are mounted into um, the screw brackets that are um, built into uh, the real Yax kayak, and and this is um, this recess mount is is pretty common across the the real Yax platform. So th there's not a lot of difference here. If you it doesn't matter whether you've got sort of the Ranger or the Rubicon, etc. Um, you, you you'll have the the stock standard um, uh, transducer. So now that you've got your uh, you've got your transducer. You know, you probably want to mount it uh, downward facing as much as possible, so that's probably a, a pretty good position. It's going to make sure it doesn't sort of uh, interfere with your plate at all, though. So, um, but that that looks that looks pretty good. And then, you know, you you're really just putting uh, you're really just putting the the screws back in and, and kind of mounting the plate back again. Um, and this just protects it from from when you're you're beaching it and and the like. Um, this doesn't have any effect uh, on, on your transducer, so, so no need to worry about that. And of course, you've got the cable running down there and, and up through into the cockpit, so you can now you know, mount that through um, the other side. Um, you know, once you put your, uh, the, the screen on, on one of your accessory rails, you now have the, uh, the cable to be able to plug straight into the back of it, and, um, and uh, you're, you're really good to go. So. 